Hey guys, it's Andrea from the blog Pine and Prospect Home, and I wanted to put a little video together just um, sort of sharing my experience. Uh, honestly, um, this has all happened within a week's time, um, but if this is going to help another mama out there, then um, I think it'll be worth sharing my story. So for those of you that aren't really interested, um, I know this has nothing to do with what I normally post about in terms of home decor and DIY, but um, right at 38 weeks and five days, uh, we found out that our baby was breached and pregnant, <laughs> if you're new here, with our fourth baby. Um, and of course, I've been updating you guys over on Instagram and my stories, and if you kind of follow the community page here on YouTube, I put a little post up about it as well. But um, yeah, it was a complete shock. Um, I went in for just a normal checkup. I'd been having lots of contractions. I thought, um, I honestly thought the baby would come early. Um, I've had three vaginal uh, deliveries, so kind of just thought I knew uh, exactly what to look for, what to expect uh, as we come to the end of this pregnancy. And then um, when my doctor said that she thought the baby was breech, I couldn't even believe it. I was just in complete shock. Um, I regret not asking more questions. I think I was just, uh, so much was going through my head at the time that um, once I got to my car, I just burst into tears and sat there and cried for probably 15 minutes. Um, but she gave me some options there that day. She told me that we could try something called an ECV. It's an external cephalic version, I think. Um, basically, they just give you a shot to uh, soften the uterus and then the doctor tries to manually turn the baby and she offered to do one the very next day. She also said that um, she did not deliver breech babies, um, that if the ECV did not work that we would have to schedule a C-section. So I didn't want to rush into anything. I went home, I talked to my husband, we prayed about it. Um, and we wanted to just give the baby some time. We talked to a lot of other mamas who said the same thing happened to them and the baby flipped. We did some research on breech babies and we went to the Spinning Babies website and tried all of the exercises. I went to the pool um, here behind our house and did handstands and somersaults and uh, we set up an inversion table situation and I would lay on that for 20 minutes. We put ice packs on top of the baby's head because we had read that sometimes um, that <laughs> that um, cold, I guess the baby wants to get away from the cold. And so uh, we tried peppermint oil. I, um, I tried just about everything that first day. And uh, we ended up going to a fair that night and I ran into a friend who, um, who I was thinking about texting actually, but um, decided not to. So I ran into her at, at the fair and I, I told her about my situation. She asked how I was doing and um, kind of just told her everything that was going on. And she said, let me talk to my midwife and see um, if she knows of any tips or tricks. And so she put me in contact with her midwife who put me in contact with a local chiropractor who is certified in the Webster technique. And um, this chiropractor was a godsend. She was so kind and caring and considerate. She walked me through, um, you know, exactly what it meant to have a breech baby. And she talked to me about the possibility of a C-section and some different things I could request. And she talked to me about the ECV and then she explained what she was going to do to try to align my pelvis. And um, that chiropractor met with me every single day and I'm meeting with her today still. Um, even, when, even when her office was closed, she gave me her personal cell phone number and she came and met me and just opened up opened up the office and um, just took time out of her personal, I mean, I'm talking about Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, she took time out to come see me. So um, on Sunday we talked 
and she said that um, I told her, I said, I really wish I knew what to do. Um, I almost wish somebody would tell me, <laughs> you know, because the risk with an ECV is that it could lead to a potential C-section if things go wrong, if there's fetal distress. And she said, you know, this is your fourth baby. I really think you should go ahead and try it. So I called Monday and the doctor agreed that we should give it a try on Tuesday. So that was yesterday. Tuesday morning, I went in, woke up super early. We had to be at the hospital at 7, um, yeah, 7 a.m. So we had to leave our house around 6.30 or so. Um, I got to the hospital and uh, registered, went up to the OB, um, you know, the labor and delivery floor, and um, they had me undress and put on a hospital gown and they wanted to monitor the baby and um, make sure everything looked good first. Um, of course, they did an ultrasound just to be sure, you know, where the baby um, just to make sure the baby was still breached and see if placement was good as far as like the placenta and everything um, to even be able to do this procedure. Everything looked good, everything checked out and so uh, they gave me a little shot right behind the arm. It just felt like a tiny little prick to help soften um, and relax my uterus and um, I had heard, I'd done some research on these, I had heard how painful they were, how uncomfortable. One woman said it was worse than childbirth, um, but I didn't really believe it, I'll be honest. I just thought, eh, these women are kind of being, you know, dramatic, I'm sure it's not that bad. Um, but, and I, I hope I don't scare anyone, um, it, was, it was extremely painful. I'm not gonna lie, it was very, very painful. Um, my baby's head is up here and the butt is down here and um, my husband said she had her fist on my stomach trying to shove um, the head down while she lifted up on the butt and uh, I didn't cry or scream out I'm not one to do that I just kind of tried to close my eyes and breathe through it I held on to the bar of the bed into my husband's hand and just kept breathing and breathing and I, I wanted to be strong because I wanted it to work and I didn't want her to stop trying. But after the third attempt of just no movement, she told me she just didn't think she could get the butt out of my pelvis. So I'm finally calming down. Uh, the ECV was not successful. The doctor tried three times to move the baby's butt out of my pelvis and um, just couldn't get the baby to budge, so they want to monitor me for a few hours. I'm pretty emotional, but I'm doing better than I was. Um, so the plan right now is to schedule a C-section about four days from now. So we're going to continue with the spinning baby exercises and just pray the baby flips on its own and if not we're just trusting trusting God so the procedure was pretty painful very painful but um but we tried our best so um, the feet are down which is not ideal it's not a frank breach a lot of people have reached out and said um, I delivered a breech baby and I know um, it's possible to do that, but my doctor, she, she will not. So she said it's just too risky. And um, as far as I know, the closest doctor that even considers it is 
couple hours away and at this point I'm 40 weeks pregnant and um, switching so late in my pregnancy is just my husband does not have a piece about that he doesn't have a piece about driving so far if I were to go into labor and things progress quickly so uh, we scheduled a c-section for Friday which is in a couple days and um, I've gotten a lot of messages from people saying you don't have to be scared of a c-section it's wonderful or um, you know it goes so quick there's nothing to be scared of and I just want to make it clear that I'm not necessarily I'm not scared of a c-section of course it's an unknown um, but I know that they're safe I know women have them all the time I'm not looking down at anyone who's had a c-section I think it was just um, I have to be careful I think it was just a complete shock you know like um, I had this plan in my head of what I thought would happen and I've had you know three babies vaginally and so just just the excitement of you know the contraction starting and like you start timing them and then you call your mom and you know you say mom I think this is it and you line up you know to bring the kids over and um you know we we don't know what we're having it's a surprise and so we're gonna record the whole process and I think I was more so just like mourning the fact that everything I had in my head <laughs> was now completely different and now I would be laying on an operating table and and that's okay um really God has given me peace and I know that I have tried everything I possibly could and for whatever reason um this baby won't turn so uh, I just wanted to update you guys and kind of share my experience in case you're considering um, an ECV. I know that a lot of women have success with them. I had so many women tell me that the doctor flipped their baby right away and I was so hopeful. But ultimately I am just trying to trust in the Lord. I know this is getting long and I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to trust in the Lord and in his plan and as I was leaving the hospital my grandma sent me a text and she said we're praying for you just remember um, grandpa's life verses trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding and then I had a sweet friend from my church send me a text she's actually from Ireland and she said Andrew I was thinking about you today our last night and I was putting my ironing away <laughs> um, she irons everything it's the sweetest um, and she said, I saw a wee verse in my closet <laughs> that said, be still and know that I am God. So God has given me so much peace through all of this. I know that he has a reason and I don't know what that reason is. I don't, I don't understand it, um, but I'm trusting him and it may not be the birth plan that I had pictured in my head, but um, it's God's plan for me. And so unless something changes before Friday, that's the plan and I wanted to update you guys. Um, lots of emotions, lots of ups and downs, <laughs> um, highs and lows, uh, feeling at peace and then breaking down. And um, so many of you guys have been so kind and encouraging and supportive and I appreciate that more than you know. You don't even understand how much your prayers mean. So if you could pray for me this Friday, I'm trusting that God has a plan through this. And um, we're going to continue to see the chiropractor, continue with the exercises. Maybe the baby will flip still. I personally feel like the head is still up high. So we'll see what happens. But I wanted to give you guys an update and thank you so much for your love and your prayers. I'll share this story on the blog as well for anyone else that feels nervous about going into um, an ECV, but I will say that I'm glad that I tried it. I, I know now that I exhausted all my options and that I truly tried everything I could, um, but God had other plans. So thank you guys for listening to my story and I appreciate you all more than you realize. So. Hopefully next time I put up a video, I will have a little precious baby in my arms. Um, and I just want to thank you guys again for all of your love and support. So I will see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.